Hi everybody, this is Susie. Um, I have been collecting things for uh, the last month and a half and it's uh, a lot of it's my Christmas and everything and um, uh, I'm sorry I've been on in a little bit. My, my back went out and I was laid up for what seemed like forever but anyway things are starting to feel a little bit better it's still really sore if I um, am up too much and whatnot but it's doing a lot better so I thought that um, I would do a haul video and show you guys um, all the goodies that I've been collecting for the last month and a half um, so uh, I'm going to start with, with, with what's right in front of me. So, um, I got this heat wave tool. Um, it comes with 20 sheets of 4x6 foil. And I, from what I understand, you can only use the foil that's made for this with it. I guess the other, some of the other foils or all of them, I'm not sure yet because I haven't played with it yet. Uh, don't work with it, but um, it looks like a lot of fun, so I got that. And um, I also got one of the stencils that go with it, and this is the one that says, um, let's see, what does it say up in there? Not sure what it says back up in there, but this says hello to from happy congrats today and love. And I'm not sure. Oh, thank you. Okay. So that looks like fun. And also, what from what I understand, um, you can use other uh, stencils with this tool and. Um, and they're not supposed to melt it but I will do a product review and show you guys this tool um, and we'll play around with some of my other stencils to see how it works um, I also got the foil that goes with it this is 30 sheets of 4x6 and it comes in silver red blue gold and what looks like a magenta well, okay, pink. Yeah, six, six of each color. Silver, red, blue, gold, and pink. So that looks like fun. I'm surprised that um, there's 20 sheets in here of the same size, but it doesn't look like that much, does it? That little tiny roll, but I guess there is. That's so funny. Okay, so I got those, and I'm going to move things out of my way as we go. There's quite a bit here to go through, so. Alright, um, I'm going to start with these next. Uh, so, <clears throat> I got these three uh, Jane Davenport, um, watercolor pans um, I got the three colors I got the neutrals and here's um, a look at the colors that are in there sorry I guess I need to move it over a little bit more and it has those colors in it and this one is the brights and there are these colors in there. And then the glitz, this uh, glitz C. And there's these colors in here. And these are like a pearlescent color one. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do um, some product reviews on all of or all or most of this everything 
and I'm excited to get to try those out. Um, well, sticking with, well, actually, I can't. I got some other Jamestown port items, but um, they're kind of buried right now. So, um, and I got this, and I am really excited to be able to try this out, and um, I will let you guys know how it works. It looks like I need to move my my view down just a little bit. Oops, that didn't work, sorry. There, I think that's a little better. Alright, uh, so I got this on Amazon and it had good reviews. Um, and it's a uh, uh, mixed media paper. It is supposed to be good with acrylic, watercolor, pen, and pencil. It's acid free, heavyweight, and um, it says for wet and dry media, uh, micro perforated pages, uh, so that you can easily tear them out. Um, for art tutorials and resource visit. Um, it is 9 by 12 and there's a hundred sheets in here and I paid approximately $10 for this for a hundred sheets of it. Um, primarily I'm wanting this for watercolor. Um, my daughter draws and uses colored pencils a lot and I asked her if she would take a sheet of it and do a drawing and let me know what she thought of it and um, she said that she liked it a lot and it did well so um, that's good news um, I'm really hoping that the watercolor aspect is uh, good as well but I will do a product review on this for you guys and um, I'm very hopeful for it okay so, the next item that I have to show you guys is, um, this is the tab punch board. It makes, like, file folders and stuff. And this would be really, really, really great for doing, um, mini albums and stuff for your, uh, different pages and whatnot. And I thought this was, oh, and, and for making your own journal, too, or a uh, planner. So I got this, and I'm hoping this is going to be a lot of fun. It looks like fun. Okay, the next item is this is the we are memory keepers fringe and scoreboard and um i've seen some of the videos for it and um i'm excited to get to play with this too and you're supposed to, you're gonna you're bleh, sorry i can't talk um, you can do paper rosettes and lanterns and um, fringe and do it really super fast. So I am super excited about this. And the aspect of doing like the paper rosettes um, is exciting for me because you can score... A whole bunch of lines at one time or cut a bunch of lines at one time um, and if you needed uh, strips of half inch paper or one inch paper um, this will do it for you lickety split and perfect so that is exciting all right and I hope I don't have an avalanche. Okay. Um, I think I have some of these mixed up. I'll show you in a minute. 
Yep, I'm getting a little bit of an avalanche. Um, these are some things that I got for Christmas. And I got the Sizzix uh, Thin Lids. And this is the Crafty Chick. And let's see if this has a name. Uh, banners and... Oh, nope, that's not the English one. Oh, it's just banners. Okay. So, those are really pretty. And I got this deer. And that's a thinlet die. And then I got these. And these are so cool, you guys. The Sizzix 3D um, textured impressions. Um, I did make a belated Christmas card because I, well, I really wanted to try this folder. And uh, it's beautiful. I'm, I love this one. It is so pretty. And I will be showing that to you guys. And then I also got this one of the 3D Deer. And it's, I, when I first opened it, I thought, oh, that's kind of small. <laughs> but it's not. If you can see, it's actually really big. It, like, shows most of the entire um, thing is the deer. And let me grab a piece of white paper. Um, I got some planner stamps. And um, my daughter's gonna be here next month, so, um, and I haven't seen her since last summer, so I'm pretty excited, but I bought her a planner, and um, so I got her this set of planner stamps, and I ordered these from China. I got those ones. And these ones. And these ones. I need to move my viewer back up, guys. I'm not getting everything in here very well. Let's see if that's better. At least now I'm getting a view of. any too. Okay, so real quick, I don't know how much you missed on seeing that. So there's this set, this set, and then this set. And you can get these stamp sets for so cheap over there. Uh, I think I paid a dollar something or maybe two dollars a piece for these. Okay, and I got this, and I'm super excited to try this out. Isn't that pretty? There's like little tiny stars in, in the background with this color. And I got this from um, scrapbook.com. They were having a sale, I think. I either got it from scrapbook.com or Blitzy. Sorry guys, I can't remember. I got, and it wasn't even that long ago. So, anyways, I got that. And back to the Jane Davenport. Oops, one of these came open. Uh, so I got the, these are the, uh, the Glitzy, uh, and they are the same color, uh, palette, and they're, they're super sparkly markers from Jane Davenport, and, um, so this is, a uh, Warm Sea and Cool Oceans, and I will be showing those to you guys, um, where the other 
Jane Davenport. Oh, Jesus, right in front of me, you can see it. Um, I also got these, and um, I haven't tried these yet, but my daughter has. Uh, she played with them a little bit, and uh, um, but I will be also in doing a video on these. I definitely want to show you guys these. And I got these for, oh my goodness, such a good deal. I think I might have shown you guys these, but I can't remember. So, anyways, but I wanted to show them anyway real quick and let you know that I'm going to be doing a, a video using those. And let me grab some of the other Jane Davenport stuff that I picked up. Okay. Um, so I got this set of stamps and I love these. These are so cool. There, I think you can see real well right there. And I got this set. And this set is neat because the face is uh, open with no hair or anything. And then it's got a bunch of different eyes and lips. And is it just eyes and lips? Eyes and lips. I don't think that there's a nose there. Okay, so I got those, and these ones here, the faces. Okay, and um, I got this stamp. This is a camouflage, and I cannot believe I had never seen a camouflage stamp before. And that's a good size one, too. So I had to have that. We live in Oregon, and the guys are hunting and fishing and whatnot. So, um, anyway, so we got I got that and this that I'm super excited about. Um, I was on. I got this set of stamps on, um, oh goodness, sorry guys, I'm having a brain, um, oh gee, scrapping for less, sorry. So like, you know, I knew it like the back of my hand, but I, my brain just wasn't finding it. But anyway, um, this is a mainly a uh, hunting set by Gina Marie. And so I was pretty excited to find that. I had never seen um, a stamp set like this before. Um, so anyways, I got that and I really like that. And then in that theme also, I got this set of stamps by Penny Black. And it's uh, dropping you a line. That's a cute pun. But um, you can see in this picture, make sure you guys can actually see good. You can see in this picture what it looks like when it's colored. It's got such great detail, even the t-shirt under his jacket. Anyway, so I really like that. Very cool. And I got these. And these don't cut anything out. They just put these designs on your card. It's the stitched. It's got like a slash one, uh, like a uh, an X one and a dash and then dots and this is Lawn Fawn and this is called Stitch Stitched Borders and so I thought that was cool I have a lot of uh, dies from before the stitched was popular and I find that I don't use them very much because I like the stitched um, the stitched border around them so I thought these would be perfect uh, so I'm excited about those and then I can also just put the stitched line on my 
mats that I do too. So, anyways, got that. And I got this set of stamps by um, me and my big ideas. Uh, this is for my planner. So I got those. And planner stamps again. I got these, and these are recollections. And it also comes with a stencil. I thought it was totally awesome. Got that. And I got this set. And I got this set on sale um, at uh, Michael's. And I only paid like two or three dollars for it, which I thought was a super good deal because you have the matching dies and stamps. And this is by Art. And it is called let's see if it has a name hmm I am not seeing a name on these no I guess there isn't this doesn't have a name Okay, and I got this. I love this. This is a 6x6 six six embossing folder. It's the only one I have that's a 6x6. Six six. And this is by X Cuts. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And I got these, and I definitely want to do a product review on these for you guys. Because I got these on Amazon, and they were, um, let's see. They were about $10 for them. But you've got, um, let's see, one, two, three. You've got six different ones in here, including three flats and three different sizes of round. Um... And these say that they're leak proof and there was uh, decent reviews on them so I wanted to give them a try and see what they were like and show you guys too because that's a pretty good deal for six of them with the different sizes and everything and I'm always so leery about buying off brands that I'm not familiar with because you never know what they're going to be like and you know uh, but I wanted to be able to do a review for you guys so that um, hopefully uh, it'll be a good deal for you guys if you're interested in getting them but I will do a honest review I, everything I do is honest but um, on these and let you know what I think Okay, and real quickly, I don't have the um, Hero Arts uh, kit, club kit, monthly kit every month anymore, but I did purchase this month's set. Um, I just thought it was so pretty, so I'm just going to briefly show you guys. Um, and I'm not sure when I looked, last time I looked, which was only... Um, a few days ago, they still had some of these available at um, Hero Arts. So, anyways, there's these these two stamps are they go together for layering, and so do these two and signs. And then it has the and then the different dies that go with it. And so it has those. Um, you get uh, four ink cubes. I got these two little pearl thingies they sent, they gave me for as a free gift. But it also came with these um, sequins and some pink embossing powder, um, some shimmery cardstock, and this pattern uh, paper. There's two sheets of that. 
So, anyways, that's it. Um, HeroArts.com if you guys are interested. Um, I got these two sets on Etsy. And um, uh, evidently this company is not in business anymore. But you can still find some of their uh, stamps sets here and there. Honestly, not very many though. I looked. Um, but I just think these are so stinking cute. Look at those. I just, I just love that little caterpillar. I love this whole set. I think it's adorable. And these are red rubber. Very nice. And then I got this set too. And this is a photopolymer set. Um, says thankful thoughts your kindness has touched my heart so very thankful for you but I just loved these flowers I thought they were so pretty in these anyways got those um let's see a couple of weeks ago I was watching the frugal crafter and she did a video on this um, like a little monster bursting out of her card. If you guys have not seen that video, I recommend it because that card that she made is so stinking cute. But she was telling me about this new, um, well, new to us knowing about it anyways, this company called Top Flight Stamps. And I have their card card somewhere. Let me find it real quick. There it is. It is Top Flight Stamps, bringing a world of stamps to your doorstep. They literally scour the planet for um, different stamp sets and companies uh, for finding really unique and really, really cool stamps. And they really do have some super, super cute ones. Uh, anyhow, so, and not only that, but the Frugal Crafter has a 10% off uh, coupon code that you can get. It's in the drop-down box, uh, box at, below her video. Uh, anyways, so definitely take advantage of that. And... If you order $50, it's free shipping. And this is coming from, um, let's see. I'm not sure where this is shipping from. I think it's coming, well, evidently South Carolina. But um, they look everywhere for stamp sets. And um, I had to go get the stamps that she was in that, that she did in that video. You guys, wait till you see these. They are so stinking cute. So here's the stamp set. You get these two stamps, and these are all these ones are all red rubber um, of like bursting out, and uh, they're pretty good sized. And um, anyway, so I got that one, and these cloud ones, and I was looking at it and. What I'm going to do is cut out each of these individually because then you'll have more play on where you place them and whatnot. And that's probably what they were intended uh, to do. But, um, or you could leave it whole like it is. Uh, anyway, so I got that one. And then I got these. And oh my goodness, these are so stinking cute. I love these little monsters. And this com 
company, or this, uh, excuse me, yeah, this company, the Katzel Frats? No, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I do know that this company that makes the stamps are from, um, from France. So I got these ones, and I just love I love that card, you guys. Got to go check it out because I think it is so stinking cute. So I got those. And then I also got these ones. Aren't these cool, you guys? A little, like this one here is a window. And then the doors. And these are red rubber also. I just got these in the mail um, yesterday. <clears throat> and then also from the same Top Flight Stamps Company, I got this set of stamps. And I just love these. This one's called Fairy Doors, I believe. I believe this one's called Fairy Doors. And this is La Lavinia Stamps. And this stamp company is based out of the UK. But that's what's so cool about this company is they get their stamps by many different stamp companies over throughout the world. And that's super cool. So anyways, I love this. And then you have the, the leaf stamp to fill in all of the the leaves of the tree. But I just love that. Make sure that's not shining for you guys to see it good. If you can see that good. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to bring these up a little closer too because I'm not sure how well you could see them. Aren't those awesome? And I will bring the little monsters up closer too. I'm not sure how well you guys could see them. Aren't these awesome? I just love these. So, anyways, I got those. And we're coming down to the last few things. Alright. Uh, more Jane Davenport. I got these. And these are paint over pens. Uh, they're supposed to write over top of um, different mediums like paint and uh, watercolor paint. And, you know, they're supposed that way you can do like your uh, do like your detail work and stuff like that with the pens if you want to. And Um, which, I don't know if these ones have a color name. Nope, I don't see where it has a color name, but there's, they have, um, at least one other set of different colored ones, but I like this one because of the, uh, the white ones in there I thought was pretty cool. And... I got these. These are the We Are Memory Keepers layering guides. And these look really cool for getting your layers just right and everything. And I'm definitely going to do a review on these. Or a demo. And I'm going to show that last. Alright. And... I got this. This is the um, the frame punch board by We Are Memory Keepers, and for doing your shaker cards and whatnot, and your frames and everything, and it it'll do all these different shaped and types of frames. Make sure you guys can see that. There you go. And this has been out for a little while, and I've been wanting to get it, and, uh, um, and so I got that. And then I just got this 
baby in the mail, and I'm definitely going to do a uh, demonstration review on this, and I'm super excited about this one. I got the new We Are Memory Keepers, the mini, the mini, um, punch board. The envelope punch board isn't that stinking cute. Look how little that is, you guys. It's like the size of my hand. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is so stinking cute, and uh, I'm super excited about this. And another thing that I can't wait for it to come out, I keep looking to see if it's available, and it's still not, but um, I want the, uh, I want to get the, um, the Tim Holtz Media Glass Mat. That is so awesome. Anyhow, I am really excited about that item too. And I cannot wait for it to become available. So, anyways, you guys, that is everything. And like I said, I've been uh, collecting for the last two months. And I haven't got anything done yet with anything yet. But um, I am starting to feel better. So, that's awesome. I was pretty miserable. My back hasn't gone out like that ever before. So, anyhow. Um, I'm in a wheelchair. And the, I have a uh, Rojo cushion on my chair. That's um, like a air mattress thing. Well, it went flat. And I fell asleep in my wheelchair. And was in it for several hours. And when I woke up, oh my gosh, because I was sitting on the, on the, um, on the metal floor, basically, of my chair, and, oh, uh, anyhow, it messed me up, but, um, anyways, glad, super glad that I'm starting to feel better, yay, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I wanted to at least get this video up and let you guys know that I didn't fall off the edge of the planet somewhere. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.